Hello everyone, this is the next addition to my vintage Apple collection. This is an iPhone 3G. This was my iPhone, I bought it brand new back in mid-2008, and I used this iPhone for two and a half to three years on the AT&T network. At the time, Apple only offered the iPhone with the AT&T service. I wasn't happy with AT&T's service, or their coverage in my area so I switched to another carrier and when I did so I had to give up the use of the iPhone for an Android now I would like to continue to stick with the carrier that I'm currently using because more cell phone towers equals better signal and better service in my area but I'm not eligible to upgrade my phone until March of 2014 in another 10 months but when that 10 months comes I'd like to uh, get an iPhone again. So anyway, I found this just kind of hiding in a basket full of a bunch of junk and decided that I would uh, get it out of there, charge it up, power it up, see what was still on it, and see uh, if there was anything I could use it for, even knowing that I could no longer use it as a phone since I no longer have that, that service, that carrier service. So why don't we just go ahead and uh, have a look at it here. So there is the there is the home screen right here. And you can see there is no service. No service because uh, no longer have service on AT&T. And this phone has never been quote unquote unlocked so that it could be used on another service. It just has the stock apps and only that one page of apps. Of course, you can go to the to the search uh, page there, and it just has those stock apps. So uh, that would include messages, calendar, photos, YouTube, stocks, maps, camera, contacts. Notes, voice memos, settings, clock, the app store, weather, calculator, the phone, mail, safari, and iPod. Obviously because uh, the phone no longer has service, you can't use that. Uh, but I have it hooked into my Wi-Fi network here, so it is still possible for me to get online with the phone. And... Uh, do web searching on it kind of slow but the internal specs on this thing said that the iPhone 3G only had 128 gigabytes of installed RAM which uh, is kind of minimal for the internet these days I'm not sure what the new iPhones have pre-built into them anyway this is the one that I want and uh, there may even be a better version out by the time next March rolls around, who knows. But it is still possible to use the internet with this machine. Of course, you still have all of your iPod functionality. And I do have one audiobook hooked up on this thing. The ESM mast went up, and the electronics technician reported only weak signal. So... The iPod still works as well. And I'm sure that the camera would still work. Which it does. I don't think you could take video with the iPhone 3G. I certainly don't remember being able to do that. Uh, 
of course, YouTube should be functional through the Wi-Fi network as well. It's kind of slow. And then uh, if we have a quick look here at settings, and we go to general, and we go to about, what we've got is no songs, no videos, no photos. It's a 6.9 gig capacity phone. 5.8 is available and it's running iOS version 421. Carrier is AT&T. So those are the specs. So there it is. Uh, the iPhone 3G. Thanks everybody for watching the videos. Thanks for your subs. Thanks for your thumbs up. Thanks for your support. And uh, still waiting on a Power Mac 7200. It is now not due in until the middle of next week. So uh, when that gets here, we'll be doing a video on that. And I'm still going to be doing a video on the iBook G4s and the PowerBook G4, which I still owe you. Thanks for watching.